All right, welcome back. This is part three, so we're just about done here. All we got to do is rotate these cylinders around. So we just finished up uh, chamfering these edges and getting it all smooth and stuff. So I'm gonna go to back to edge poly, hierarchy tab, effect pivot only. I'm gonna line it to this box. I'm gonna do pivot center on the X, Y, and Z position. Click OK. Uncheck effect pivot, and we're gonna rotate this B around. Holding shift, rotate by 90 degrees. We we'll do that three times. Go this one. Hold shift, rotate that 90 degrees. I'm just going to do it once because we've already got one here. Click this one. Rotate that one 180 degrees to get that bottom edge. Oh, there we go. Just like that. Alt W this so you can see it a little better. Select everything. Give it a black material. Material letter, assign that gray material, default gray material. F4 so we can see the faces. And that is your companion cube. All made out of splines, converting them to editable polys, extruding them, and aligning pivots and doing a bunch of funky stuff. So pretty easy and straightforward. I mean all we did was really was just make these pieces right here. All we did was pretty much make this little polygon right here and extrude it out, beveled it out. Took the entire thing and made three different pieces out of it. Did this one and took those two pieces and rotated them around a couple times and pretty easy, right? I mean it looks pretty complicated, like it can be a pretty complicated shape. And actually it does look kind of complicated. I mean, it's not perfect to the reference. As you can see, this angle right here on this corner, like this angle right here, you can see it's not the same exactly. And if you wanted to, you could take, you know, you could take this polygon, you could move it up before you did, you know, you can move it up like that before you did that, you know, um, rotation on that before you added it and made those bridges, of course. But whatever, I think this looks pretty straightforward, pretty pretty good and good enough for a companion cube. And you can texture this however you want. Um, but yeah, that's about it. This is the uh, companion cube out of splines. So I hope you learned something. Hope you got something out of it. If not. Um, I hope it was at least a good 35 minute waste of your life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hope somebody, I seriously hope somebody learned something out of this because I did. So, um, I really like this model. I think it's, I think it's cool. And I really love Game Portal. Love the Game Portal. Can't wait for Portal 2. The cake is not a lie. I swear to God, the cake is not a lie. So, anyways, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to go uh, send me a PM. Leave comments, questions, whatever you have. Um, yeah. Anyways, stay tuned to my channel and take care. Peace.